Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sneaky Meg screws Queen, books infamous Trump hater to speak at royal wedding. Meghan Markle is making sure the royal wedding turns into a political event by choosing an infamous Trump hater as the main speaker. There is no doubt Sneaky Meg did not give the Queen the full story about the African American clergyman who will deliver the main sermon during the ceremony. Most Americans will be utterly shocked to learn what this man of God will be saying about our great nation at the royal wedding. His name is Michael Curry, and he is the current presiding bishop and primate of the Episcopal Church in the United States. He is the first African American to be elected to that office in 2015. But, what he is really known for is his rabid hatred of President Donald Trump. The UK Express reports, he is set to march on the White House against Donald Trump four days after his royal wedding address. The first African-American primate of that church, he has branded Trump's America First policy a theological heresy for the followers of Christ. Yet, he is pro-gay marriage and supports having the same church rites and ceremonies, given to heterosexual couples, extended to gay couples. In essence, he is all for condoning gay marriage as a holy right from God. That is not okay with most evangelical Christians and absolutely not okay for all Catholics. Curry is upset that Trump has gotten so much support from many Protestant and Catholic leaders, and he is marching on the White House for the purpose of reclaiming Jesus. He wrote a scathing statement, summing up his main talking points, which no doubt he will work into his royal wedding sermon. We are living through perilous and polarizing times as a nation, with a dangerous crisis of moral and political leadership at the highest levels of our government and in our churches. Bishop Curry wrote, We believe the soul of the nation and the integrity of faith are now at stake. He continued, We reject the resurgence of white nationalism and racism in our nation on many fronts, including the highest levels of political leadership. We, as followers of Jesus, must clearly reject the use of racial bigotry for political gain that we have seen. This guy is a total political hack, and that's proven right in his statement. In a paragraph on the most vulnerable children of God, he absolutely leaves out any mention of abortion. Instead, he uses his Bishop Smiter as a political thule, writing, We strongly deplore the growing, political, attacks on immigrants and refugees, who are being made into cultural and political targets. How can a Christian bishop write about the most vulnerable children of God, yet not one time mention abortion? Instead, every paragraph in his statement is directed at highest political leaders, meaning the Trump administration, and he is calling them racists, misogynists, and xenophobes. His statement is sick and reads like a liberal guide, twisting his take on Christian values and turning them into political weapons to be wielded by the left. Anyone who voted for Trump is indicted right along with the president. Christianity Today reported that the choice of Curry is odd for a royal wedding, especially since neither Meghan nor Harry has ever met him. They added, while the choice reflects Ms. Markle's own African-American heritage and the couple's transatlantic relationship, it is a break from tradition for royal weddings, in that typically royal preachers are senior Church of England clergy. It makes perfect sense that Meghan Markle would choose Bishop Curry given the fact that she was all about promoting the leftist Hollywood politics. Although nothing has leaked out on Curry's sermon for the royal wedding, we can take a good guess as to what he will say since he will be taking his directions from Meghan Markle. He won't mention President Trump by name, but he will get his anti-Trump message across loud and clear. Using political pawns like the poor immigrants and refugees, he will be calling out anyone who supports borders or who is against illegal immigration, calling them racists and white nationalists. Well, Sneaky Megan may have bitten off more than she can chew. If his sermon upsets loyal British subjects, who are conservatives, the Queen will be livid. If it is viewed as political in any way, that would go against all royal protocol. The royal family must be seen as apolitical, or they may see their own demise. I won't be watching the royal wedding. I hadn't made up my mind. Then I found out about this leftist bishop and Trump hater, scheduled to be their main speaker. As an American who supports our president's agenda, having Bishop Michael Curry as the speaker is a slap in my face. My one wish is for Ms. Markle to renounce her American citizenship and keep her leftist lying views on the other side of the pond for good. Goodbye and good riddance, Princess Pushy. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.